All right, guys, so we are here for the World Tournament Rewards. I've been waiting for this. As you guys can see, I grinded my ass off for this last World Tournament and got 90, 92 overall. Now, that's going to be very fucking big for the amount of orbs and rewards I'm going to get. Uh, this is really good. I was able to get a lot of summoning tickets, so we're going to take a look at all of the rewards we just got. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and use up these uh, tickets. Uh, I'm not going to grab everything out of the gift box for now, though. Okay, so we got seven stones. That's not bad. There's three tickets. Uh, let me... Hmm. Because, see, I, I want to get... I I'm excited for one thing. Hold on, hold on. Let's find out where this is. Let let's keep going. We got these medals. We got these medals. Nine thousand orbs for small. Five thousand medium. Five hundred large. What that equates to, y'all, that is enough to rainbow two units of every type. So I will be using this to rainbow LR Cell and LR Ginyu Force for physical. Uh, and I'll probably use this to rainbow uh, the free-to-play Int 21 as well as the AoE Raditz for the Int units. Uh, the other typings, I don't have any in mind. But this is absolutely fucking fantastic. Uh, these rewards are crazy. So, uh, let's go ahead and let's just grab everything real quick. This should give us, I think, a round up to where the orbs start. Or maybe they will give us a little bit of the orbs. Uh, but, yo, I... Ooh! It was so worth it doing all of this. Okay, I even got the two copies of LRTN. We got the Diamond Hercule statue. All of those Awakening medals. So, so nice. And then here we go. Hold on. Let me, let me just grab a couple of these singular. Okay. So you guys have to comment. Let me know what did you all finish in the World Tournament. What is your highest rank? This is the highest I've ever been uh, in one of these World Tournaments. This is pretty much... Like, the JP Tournament is crazy. You gotta go real hard to get this high. Alright, so we'll grab this. Oh, we even got five Platinum Statues. That's very good. Uh... Is able to get eight copies of the Mighty Mask as well as the uh, Great Saiyan Man too. Uh, those units are very good. Well, the Mighty Mask is okay, but the Great Saiyan Man is fantastic. Uh, I am a huge, huge fan uh, of that Great Saiyan Man. And then let me scroll this down a little bit. I want to catch the numbers right there for those orbs. Hold on, let me scroll down a bit. Right there, yeah. <laughs> The orbs, baby! You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and collect all that. Your boy is sitting pretty for the orbs. So people will say, Truth, how do you have so many orbs to rainbow units? How do you have so many rainbow units? Bam, motherfucker! That's how. Nearly 30k tech. Hey, I'm wait hey, hopefully they release some sort of new Broly from the movie that's a tech type or some shit like that. I can't wait. All right, so let's go to our box. Let's see. Uh, again, the Great Saiyan Man, this guy is very good. Uh, I do personally consider him to be the best World Tournament reward that has ever been released. Uh, he's a very powerful unit, uh, all in all. Uh, I would even actually say, like, like, just as support type unit, like, as a World Tournament reward, I think it's kind of the best way they can go about it. Because a support type unit is not going to be bogged down by the fact that they only have uh, the free-to-play potential system, right? Which will only give 3,000 instead of, like, you know, the normal 5,000 the buffs. Uh, so, got all that shit pretty good. Uh, I'm probably going to have to do another video after I do my LR cell summons where I'm probably going to baba a whole bunch of LRs because, like, those two TNs, there's not really much I could do with him. And here's the thing about uh, LR TN. When you awaken him to a TUR... He becomes LR, like he's TN and Chaozu as a TUR as well. So you can't run the TUR and the LR on the same team. You can run the SSR and the LR on the same team, but the SSR is not good enough to run. So that is one big thing that does hurt uh, our boy uh, LR, TN, and Chaozu. So let's go ahead and go to the summons now. Uh, okay, so I have five gold tickets right there and eight gold for the Dragon Ball Saga summons. Okay, let's start with the Dragon Ball Saga one. Uh, all of my summons on this banner, uh, during, like, the last time I did some World Tournament summons a couple days ago, uh, I actually did not pull a single SSR. 
not even one from this banner. So I don't think it would be too greedy of me to ask if, if we could just get one SSR. I think that would be very fair. Uh, all right, so we did a Dragon Ball Summon. Let's move over to the World Tournament banner. Now, I actually think I was wrong. I think I did say when I was summoning on this banner before uh, that you couldn't get a Vegito animation. And I was like, wait a minute. LR Piccolo is technically on this banner. So you can get a double crack screen. You can get a Vegito animation, Super Vegito or LR Vegito. So if we see Vegito pop up, that'll be hype for me because I believe I do actually need two copies of LR Piccolo before I can actually go ahead and rainbow him. I do want to rainbow all LRs. So Piccolo is something I'm really badly looking for. Uh, with these five tickets, I only asked for one thing though, and that, well, two things. I'm good with either, either an LR Piccolo dupe or a new unit, one of those two. Uh, okay, the Vegito, the Vegito. I mean, the Vegito is an okay unit. I think that might be the last dupe I needed because I did have at least one dupe uh, when he originally was a World Tournament reward back in holy shit that was a year ago that was last september that was september 2017 damn all right let's do one more and then we'll finish out the dragon ball saga summon so a unit i don't have from this world tournament banner i'm looking for vegeta by the way uh the physical boo who is featured i don't have him uh there's the agl uh super saiyan gohan from the broly movie i'd love to pull him uh, I don't have the SCR Super Saiyan Goku and Whis's outfits, AGL Beerus, and then the SCR Super Saiyan Goku. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Here's the thing about Vegito, too. Vegito is farmable, so this just becomes Baba food. The, like, once you have the AGL Vegito fully duped, like, you're not really going to get any benefit from pulling him. So, that's a yikes. That's, that's a real big yikes. We're going to have to back back off that banner we're gonna have to back off that banner for now at, at the very least i was able to pull uh the int armor goku during this world tournament so that was so hype because again he is an optimal unit on the super saiyan 3 category team so there is a lot of value to having him uh what do we got bulma my, my girl bulma chan loving the bulma design from the broly movie by the way yo if y'all don't know what i'm talking about uh you need to know because bulma <laughs> Hey, they really, they really stepped it up to the max with my girl Bulma. All right, come on, Goku. Come on, Goku. Get us one SSR from the Dragon Ball Saga Summon banner. Uh, I believe the four featured units... Uh, let me actually double-check what they are. Oh! Oh! I got an SSR. I, I guess I can't... Hey, <laughs> an SSR off of this banner after what it did to me? I, I'm pretty cool with that. I'm, I'm pretty... I, I do uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. At least we got an SSR. Uh, that's actually an unfeatured one I've already pulled uh, that Demon King Piccolo a few times. So this Goku I don't have I don't have TN for him TN uh, I do have Jackie Chu and I wouldn't mind pulling more dupes of him if I got full copies of him I probably would rainbow him even if he's a, even though he is a free-to-play unit and we also have the STR uh, Demon King Piccolo here. Well, no, no, excuse me. Wow. I can't talk today. What the fuck? Not Demon King Piccolo, but great, like, Namekian Piccolo, like the one that fought Goku in the World Tournament. I don't have him either. Uh, the four unfeatured cards are the AGL uh, Great Ape Goku, the Kami, and then the two Demon King Piccolos. The young tech one, and then the old uh, Int one. I actually, one of the big things I want to come to Dokkan is, like, really good cards from the King Piccolo arc. Like, I'd love to see a really good King Piccolo, maybe even an LR King Piccolo. Uh, I would love to see maybe a very good TN from that arc. Uh, maybe, like, Drum. Drum deserves, like, a really good card for the way he beat down TN. Uh, and then, obviously, an LR Kid Goku, uh, who took down uh, King Piccolo. I think that's that's the LR, the number one LR I would like to see. Uh, you also probably could do a Master Roshi card from the King Piccolo arc. where Because he has, like, that outfit on. And uh, there is not a card, like... Uh, Master Roshi card with that outfit that he wore kind of like that old black outfit when he stood up to King Piccolo one-on-one -on -one, like back when like that was a big deal like Roshi was a big deal in that moment and hit King Piccolo with the Mafuba like that would be a really cool card like they could probably do some sort of interesting like ceiling or stunning attack lowering mechanic type thing uh, especially because now they have updated it so that when a unit can lower attack lower defense seal stun any of those 
uh, you'll see the effect actually displayed uh, on like that that when you hit the boss or hit any uh, enemy you're fighting in Dokkan. So I do really like the positive changes. All right, we got General Blue. I'll take General Blue. Uh, that's one of the few SR cards from the Dragon Ball banner that I've elected to keep. A lot of them really aren't too good. Oh, Vegeta. Uh, of course, this, this isn't a banner where Vegeta can do anything, but, you know, when you see Vegeta, that's still, like, you, you got, like, a lot of hype. Like, like there's, I got a good feeling we could get an SSR right here with that Vegeta. And, oh, Chaozu, okay. Chaozu, no. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right, here we go, here we go. Now we move on to the main prize. I would so badly want some of these units in here. Again, that AGL Gohan is very useful on the Hybrid Saiyan team. Uh, the STR Kid Goku, there's so few units on the Shadow Dragon team that it'd be cool to pull him. Uh, AGL Beerus is not a bad unit. And the physical Majin Buu, he's also pretty interesting because he just got a Dokkan Awaken very recently. Uh, he ha he's has a very similar effect to Buhan. So I wouldn't mind pulling uh, that Majin Buu. And then, of course, you know, LR Piccolo, yes. Uh, yo, come... Oh, my God. This Vegeta. I already have pulled full dupes of this Vegeta. So he... he he's not helping your boy out. Uh, not damn any. Vegeta, go away! <laughs> oh, damn. Yo, this Vegeta. This has been dupe city for me uh, for this world tournament. I mean, damn... Like, how many summons have I done on this banner? I feel like this is, like, I got a good, what, maybe, like, 11, 12, 13 uh, summons on this banner throughout the entirety of this world tournament. Uh, the foot Kamehameha Goku. Okay. He just recently got a Dokkan Awakening. Uh, the 23rd world tournament, he will be getting his for global. Uh, he's an okay unit. He's decent. He's not, not bad. Like, a lot of these world tournament units that awaken, after they awaken, they become... Oh, Vegeta! Oh, Vegeta! Come on, LR Piccolo. I would love an LR Piccolo. Oh! Oh, I really thought Goku was good. Oh, man. I thought Vegito was really about to happen right there. And we would get an, a dupe for LR Piccolo. That would be sick. Uh, this fucking Goku. Oh! So these summons were so bad. Damn. Nothing of interest from these summons. All that world tournament grinding... And we get nothing. <laughs> All right, because of how that happened, we're gonna we're gonna do two multis on the LR cell banner. That, that annoyed me greatly that we didn't pull not even one interesting unit. So we'll knock out two quick multis on the LR cell banner. Uh, I am gonna pick up some more stones because uh, I do actually want to rainbow LR cell. Uh, I can't actually. Oh, okay, angel cell. He is, of course, a featured unit, so that could have been LR Cell. Uh, but that LR Cell is going to be so good for the next World Tournament. Like, it's going to be even easier to get, like, top 100 or top 200 or something like that in the next World Tournament with uh, LR Cell Awakened. Uh, I can't actually awaken LR Cell until Battlefield is reset, however. So, like, I, I do want to get full copies of Cell, but it's not, like, super, like, important or imperative that I get it done quickly. Because I can't awaken him anyway. That's another featured unit, by the way. Double featured unit multi. Okay. That's, that kind of leads me to believe we're on the right track here for this final multi of the video. Final summon of the video. Trunks and Goten. Okay, okay. Uh, Trunks and Goten, who actually were revealed for the Broly movie as well. We do know that they are actually going to be in the Broly movie. Uh, but we still have not gotten a reveal for our boy Gohan, unfortunately. Uh, so let's see if we can pull a copy of that man, El Arcelu. Oh, the physical Vegeta. I think that's another featured unit, isn't it? That's another feat. <laughs> All right, Dokkan. All right, you fucking asshole, Dokkan. That's what we're doing out here. All right. Hey, 17 is good. Future 17 is a very good unit. I don't think that's the last one. Oh, that was the last one. Wow. Yo, why? I got triggered by the World Tournament Summons, and then two multis on this banner triggered me as well. That Vegeta is featured, is he not? He sure the fuck is. All right. Well, that's how we're going to finish it, yo. Uh, very happy, of course, with the World Tournament Awards. All of the orbs. There we go. I'll catch y'all next time.